Gitin Perik Chet Mishnah Gimel. Uh, third Mishnah in the eighth chapter of Masechet Gitin. We're in the weird story, case of a person throwing Gitin. Okay? Uh, we're talking about a case where the husband and the wife are in Rishita Rabim, Uzarkula, and he threw it to her. So he said in the last Mishnah that if it's closer to her, it's Migoreshet. Closer to him, it's not Migoreshet. If it's not sure, if it's halfway, then the suffix, Migoreshet, Ve'eno, Migoreshet. Why a husband would throw the get to the wife? So I mean, he throws it to her. And then some bird comes and runs away with it, and it's gone. So the question is, was she divorced or not? So, so that, that's uh, the mission of Zana Machloket. If it's in her four amot, then she can guard it, and it's hers, even though some, like, you know, a cat comes, steals the get, and they'll never, never see it again. Okay, kiddushin. The same thing is true regarding vis-a-vis kiddushin, right? A man or a woman are standing in, a, in an alleyway, and he says, will you marry me? And she says, I will. Throw me the money. And he throws her the money. If it's closer to her and she can guard it, then it's mikudeshet. Closer to him, it's not mikudeshet. V'chein le'inyan achov. The same thing is true if you're paying back a loan. The, you know, you have a lender and a borrower, and the, and the lender says, throw me back the money. I, I don't know why. Maybe there's a hostage negotiation or what have you. Now, Kahati explains, this is all based on a pasuk. It says, okay, the katav l'aisev v'kutu v'natan v'yada v'shecha mi beito. If you write to this get, place your hands and censor. V'yatsa mi beito. Vahalcha vahaita the ishacher. Vahalcha vahaita. Haita means she will be to another man. This is called havayal, to be. So the Gemara says, makish havaya liyetsia. Okay, we compare, we, we, we contrast the havaya, marriage, to going out. So just many of the halachot that apply to, to divorce, yitsia, apply to havaya, kidushin, as well. Makish havaya liyetsia. So therefore, the Gemara says, therefore, the Mishnah says, the same thing, the same was true, vis-a-vis Kiddushin. Closer to her, she's married. Closer to him, not married. Amar lo ba'al chovo. Okay? If the lender says, zrok li chovi, throw me my money, throw me the money you owe me. Uzar kulo, and zrak kolo, and he throws it. Karov le melve zacha halove. So if it, so he throws him the money, and all of a sudden comes along a tornado, whoosh, money's gone. So if it was closer to the malve, then the love is zacha, he paid him back. But if the lover, the, the, the borrower, if the money's still closer to the borrower, then it's not, it's, he didn't pay him back. If it's halfway through, and then the wind comes and blows away the money, they should split it. Okay, so the Mishnah, the Gemara, the Bartanura says, and the Gemara is talking about, but Omer, he only says, I want you to know, not just, he didn't say, throw me the money. If he says, throw me the money, then he throw me the money, that's it. Okay? Then, then uh, but he says, throw it to me like you get. Why a person would say that? I have no idea. Since he says that, okay, Zedin get, they have Zedin get, then uh, whoever it's closer to, etc., etc. But im amalo zrokli chovi vihi pater, if he says, throw it to me and you're, you're off the hook, then, yikivanshu zarkolo b'cholinyan pater, as long as he throws it no matter what, okay, then he's, he's chay, and then he's, then he is pater. But if he says, the kahati as, if he says zrokli chovi, throw me my chov, Okay, and it's until he, then that means until he gets it. So there's three ways of saying it. Zrok li chovi bitorat gitin. Like, that's one way. And he could have said, Zrok li chovi vihi pater. Throw me and you're off the, and you're, and you're off the hook. Or, Zrok li chovi, it has to come to me. That means throw, throw it to me. If he's a bad throw, then, then it's the lova's fault. Okay, you'll look it up at the Gemara if you want more information. Misha says, next case, Haita omedet arosh hagad. She's on the roof, and he's below. Uzarkola. And he throws it to her. Once the, once the get comes into the airspace of the gag, within three, three tzvachim of the floor of the gag, that's her chatzer. So if she's divorced, it's in her chatzer, and then a bird comes in and sweeps it up. No, witnesses saw, she got the get. Opposite case, he's above and she's below, and he throws it to her. Okay? As, once it leaves the, the airspace of the roof, Nimchak onisraf, right? If it becomes erased or burned up, I raise a megureshet because once it became, she's below. She's in the yard below. He threw it off the roof into her, into her, into her, into her, into her possession. The divorce is final, even if it became burned. Bartunura says that's only okay if, if he throws it before the kodem shetayad leka ba'avira chaser before there's a fire. But if she's standing in the middle of a fire in the middle of the yard, right? And uh, and he throws it to her. Then ikara lisreifa ka'azil. Then he throws, he's throwing it to be burned up. He's not throwing it to throw it to her because she's in the middle of a burning field. I don't know why they would do this, 
These are halachot that the Tanaim like to discuss. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.